Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try my fucking hardest to approach this video with some sense of decorum in me, but it's gonna be pretty hard. Ronnie Radke, Falling in Reverse, they're back. Their first album since 2017. Popular Monster is officially out there, and I listened to the entire thing twice. I don't know why I punished myself that way. But besides me being a fucking sadist and listening to it twice, despite knowing that I wasn't gonna have any other feeling, it's like watching Morbius more than one time. Plus, we had pretty much already heard the entire fucking record because these tracks have been released for years now, so leading up to this record, there wasn't a ton of anticipation. We already knew what to expect from a lot of it. But when you put it all together, it's really like you took a dog shit and just put it in like a bowl and decided to stir it on, put some paprika in there, some salt and pepper, and it doesn't taste any fucking better when you put all the ingredients in. It is still dog shit at the end of the day. And more so, I want to just go over a little bit of my criticism of just Ronnie. His mentality as a person, his person personality, and no, I'm not going to necessarily just solely attack his character. I'm not the type of person to punch up or down at someone that I don't know the full extent of their story. No one's ever going to know entirely what someone is thinking, especially someone in the limelight, a celebrity, a musician, an actor, an actress. But for someone like Ronnie, I feel like we can get a pretty good estimation of where he is at because he cannot help but run his mouth about every fucking thing that he thinks ever. Not to mention this record is 37 minutes of a bitching hissy fit about all of the haters and all of the people who have been mean to him, and let's go into that a little bit. So taking away the fact that he has been on his NF shit, and he's turned the corny cringiness up to 11, and that's coming from someone that likes NF a lot of times, Prequel literally is an NF song down to the cinematic choir moments, the flow, the way that he just slides along, it sounds like it could have come straight off of the search, but tracks like Prequel, tracks like Bad Guy, just continue to reiterate the point that Ronnie feels like he is under attack, that the world hates him, that no one is very nice to him, and at the end of the day, they're just trying to cancel him. And you get some wonderful golden lyrics on tracks like Zombified that talk about how they'll never let go of something you said 10 years ago and they're canceling you. Honestly, there just seems to be such conflation and this weird disproportionate amount of name calling when it comes to cancel culture compared to how many people actually get canceled. To be actively canceled is next to impossible on the internet. There is always going to be a media presence for some of the most depraved, perverted weirdos of society, so don't give me fucking shit about how you are going to be so cancelled when you are doing more successfully than you ever have. The amount of people that actually get cancelled regularly, let's look at the list, people like Cody Ko and Dr. Disrespect and Ava Chris Tyson, you know, fucking child groomers, so if you're gonna complain about how the world's being cancelled, is that the type of people that you wanna flock to? Wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Not to mention, I just do not hear people bring up the past of Ronnie Radke, which is saying a lot because he has always been a habitual dickbag and a douchebag with some really fucked up opinions and just some really weird allegations and things that he doesn't even necessarily try to hide and he's always been an immature man-child. But I don't just hear people bringing up the past and the fact that he's portraying it like he's had these fucking haters on his back walking in his shadow trying to claw at his ankles, the demons on his shoulders pulling him down to hell. No, it is literally usually for things that he is saying in the current tense, contemporary things that he not only believes but pushes, and his success is very much on the back of the political talking points that he has adopted to and clung to dear life for. So it's really funny to see this vicious cycle of negativity that he clearly feeds off of and leeches off of like a parasite. It feels like all of the hate you throw at him just makes him grow higher and higher, and for someone that portrays it as, I don't care about the haters, I'm not going to stop. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm gonna do on this record. Falling in reverse is going nowhere. Your hate only makes me stronger. Proceeds to make almost a 40 minute album that just regurgitates the same point over and over. Which that's another thing. This record is just fucking annoying for how repetitive it is. Every single song can be boiled down to the same thing. Everyone hates me. Everyone's mean to me. The industry doesn't accept me. Society doesn't accept me. I'm quirky. I'm weird. And then proceeds to make the most basic essential sort of talking points filled with buzzwords. Someone that portrays himself multiple times on this record, countless times on this record, as a black sheep outcast that has been shunned from everyone because he is too boundary pushing and forward thinking and they just can't handle his galaxy brain. This whole record reads like one of the most manufactured, artificially engineered records of commercial viability mixed with weird trap semblances that just rips off other contemporary artists filled to the brain 
brim with overproduced material and the same song structure each time with some of the most basic, just hollow lyrics that you are going to hear on any record this entire year, cringy bars left, right, and center. Dare I say, given the things that he believes and the things that he talks about on this record, he couldn't be any more basic. You are just fulfilling the prophecy of every talking point that's going on. You are contributing to the culture war. You are contributing to this weird just politicking. And I feel like he knows that. And I feel like he knows he is succeeding off of that. He is fucking heavy metal or rock Tom McDonald. A poor man's Hollywood undead. It's frustrating to have someone portray himself as like, I am the messiah of weird and y'all just can't handle me. No, you are just parroting the same thing that like hundreds of other pundits are saying right now, you fucking putts. And the whole thing is just a big ass contradiction. I feel like when this record is focused, there are some genuinely fun tracks. I think Popular Monster, pretty damn catchy. I think that the Last Resort reimagined thing, it sounds really great. It has a great production to it. It's very cinematic. It's very theatrical. But the rest of this record, dare I say, is just getting so caught up in how serious it wants to be taken while still having this edgy 4chan edgelord demeanor to the entire thing, trying to feel like it's more important than it is or that it's going to be the most defining thing. When I saw a comment on my community tab that said it's Tom McDonald with heavy guitars, I can't get that out of my head now. He knows what he's doing. He knows he's poking the bear and anyone who takes Ronnie seriously and thinking that he is like this tortured artist that everyone hates, y'all aren't paying attention. He is pandering to a very specific demographic. He is clearly trying to stoke the flame and he is eating that negativity alive. He is not mentally damaged because of how people are talking about him and if he gave one singular grain of iota of thought to any of the controversy that surrounds him, he would know that people don't care about what he did in the past. People care about what he's doing right now. And with every single song and action and thing he does to try to stoke that flame and stir the pot a little bit more, he continues to amass that controversy. It gets him more publicity. It gets him more popularity. He is not adverse to any of this. He doesn't dislike it. He doesn't dislike the negative attention. And ever since his cringy rap days back in the fucking early 2010s and the Escape the Fate days, Ronnie has always fed off of negative attention and don't let him fool you otherwise to think that he hates all of this publicity and no one can stand or stomach him. But for someone who acts like he just really doesn't care about what anyone thinks of him, he sure does love writing music about it. Watch the World Burn is about like, I got dirt on the people in the industry and I'm swimming with sharks and they're all venomous and coming for me and I'm the overlord that's gonna stomp on all of the detractors, like shut the fuck up, or making an entire song called Bad Guy, which is not only one of the most phoned in and just literally hilariously laughable songs I've heard this entire year. It sounds straight out of 2012 in all of the worst ways, but the lyrics literally feel like a tear-stained diary entry of a 14-year-old bully who finally got told on by the principal. This is a hollow, lifeless record that is fueled by his pettiness, that is fueled by the necessity to just keep up this cycle of trying to poke the bear. He knows what he's doing, and yes, he is a mouthpiece. He has become a mouthpiece, and whether he wants to be or not, that is irrelevant. I tend to think yes, considering he literally has Blair White in one of his videos, so I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory, but even if we want to give the benefit of the doubt and play devil's advocate and say, well, well, no, he's not really that into it. It takes like 10 minutes to look at his social media posts, to look at his demeanor on this album, and you can very clearly tell what he's going for. And for an album that has taken this long to come out, considering the last one was back in 2017, there is nothing unique, there is nothing fresh. Everything instrumentally feels like it's done better by countless other artists that came before this record, and every single song boils down to the same talking points. It is boring, it is overproduced, and and I'm not going to say that Ronnie doesn't have some decent vocal chops when he really does push his register. He can hit some really high notes. Some of his growls are really nice. His rapping, yeah, he's very fast, but it's one of those things where just because you can rap fast doesn't necessarily mean you should, because he just kind of sounds like a mumbling, stuttering fool on some of the faster parts that you can tell he's wanting to flex on, like, watch the world burn. His flow is so rigid. It is so static. It just feels like NF and Eminem worship. And for a record that is priding itself on being counterculture and going against the status quo. I feel like it is one of the records this year that has felt the most like it was produced by 40 different fucking people and passed through a boardroom of 100 people of how to achieve
achieve some sort of hybrid metal crossover mainstream popularity. And I don't doubt it's going to do well. I don't doubt it at all. I know the numbers falling in reverse do. I know that Ronnie Radke has a lot of staunch advocates and defenders. I have crossed paths with quite a few of them and they don't like me very much. But I guess just look inside of yourself and ask yourself, is he really doing something that unique? Is he really this tortured? Has he truly been canceled or is he being more successful than he ever has been? Do you think he's a political mouthpiece? Yes or no? And if your answer is no, I feel like you just want a straw man and you just want to gaslight people into thinking that Ronnie Radke is this self-imposed individualist that isn't going to be told what to do. He is clearly pushing for a specific side. He is clearly trying to push a specific agenda in his music and he is doing nothing to try to go against the grain of all of these allegations. It is not about the past. It is about the shitty person he is today. And if he truly did want to go into recovery and mend and heal from his past mistakes and he wanted to grow and be a better person, he wouldn't be doubling down on the shitty stuff that got him in this position in the first place. So it is less about me being critical of him as a person and more so the hypocrisy and the mentality that he approaches things with. At least fucking own it. At least be a man and act like you can own up to your mistakes and own up to the person you are. Wear it like a badge of honor and stop acting like this mimic of society, this pariah that everyone is pushing against. You are Frankenstein and the world has the pitchforks. It really isn't that deep. You literally are in a great position and you know you are. And I don't know what else to say besides grow up. Don't think that you can just make an entire record bitching and moaning about how you hate the world and hate society and everyone's against you and then proceed to say you don't care what people think about you. You are clearly so fucking insecure. It is crazy. I feel like it should be so obvious to anyone how fragile of an ego he has clearly as do most people that act like Ronnie Radke do. It's just boring and it is tired. It doesn't even have any poeticism or irony to it. It doesn't have any sort of bite or tenacity to get back at people. All of the lyrics are so base level, surface level, feels like chat GPT wrote them. There is no edge. There is no angst. There is no anger. There is no rage. It literally feels like he was sitting on a fucking MacBook Pro with the nerd emoji and finger up being like, well, I escaped the fate. Like when the biggest like gotcha moment of this entire record is him making the most basically put together escape the fate reference, you know that this record lacks any substance or quality. What are your guys' opinions of popular monster Ronnie Radke and Falling in Reverse? Let me know down in the comment section below if you agree or disagree. I can't wait to hear it. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to join the review family today and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is. My name is Jay Morris and I'm signing off saying fare well.